The Bloxbury's Valentine shop is about to disappear in less than 12 hours. And I have nothing from it. Wait, this face isn't perfect for the panic right now. That's better. So today I'm making it my goal to get all three things from the shop, including the unique hockey color. But that isn't all because that would be too easy. Kinda. Instead, every hour I have to buy every single item in the shop and I can only use those items to get the hearts for that hour. So what do we have in the shop right now? Please be something I need. Let's see, we've got money and the aura. Ooh, and I currently have 300. 30 hearts. This is kind of good. So we'll spend a bit of our hearts and get the money. And now we need to grind for hearts because that aura is not going to buy itself. We got 30 minutes until the store changes. So how do I get hearts? Hey, you over there, give me hearts. If I just beat him up, will I get some? That's usually how it works, right? I got absolutely nothing. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot. You have to defeat mobs that are like close to your level, right? So if I go to the third sea and start fighting bosses way stronger than me, so let's start by defeating stone and see if we even get any hearts from him. <laughs> Please. If I don't get anything, it might be game over for me. This fight definitely wasn't extremely close and not risky at all. We got zero hearts from that. So we need to go for even stronger bosses. Is that what I'm going to have to do? I barely beat stone. My current quests are on great tree. So let's see if the great tree mobs will even give me hearts. So what level are they? 1700. I'm like 80 levels above. Hopefully they'll maybe like give me something. Please. I'm, I'm literally begging. Just give me anything. And we got one singular heart. <laughs> I definitely think the bosses are going to be the way to go. If they give anything less than 10, I think I might be done for. The kilo boss, I think he gave me literally nothing. Oh, this is going to be so rough. Okay, I think there's only one thing to do. We're going to the ice cream land. We're going to fight all of Cake Queen's minions, and I guess we'll fight Cake Queen herself. I think I can do this with Race Awakening. If I didn't have Race Awakening, this would be impossible. Please, Cake Queen, give me something good. How is she not dead yet? Yeah. Wait, I got nothing. Hold on. Is it not like guaranteed to get these heart drops? There is no way. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't actually technically bought anything from the shop yet, so let's put the Buddha fruit on, and we'll try fighting some of these like super strong mobs and see if they actually drop me any of the hearts. That one gave me nothing. Do they not drop the Valentine stuff? Oh no. I don't know where to get hearts from. This is not good. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Aha. I got 11 hearts from defeating the Kilo Admiral. So is it literally just random? Like is it completely random depending on whether you get hearts or not? Because if so, that makes this so much more problematic. I have to try and get a thousand hearts in 13 minutes. So hopefully if we go to Cake Queen and we defeat Cake Queen, maybe we could get it. I literally can't miss this. This could be the last time that that color is like ever seen again. And I might not be able to get it. Please, Cake Queen. Just let me win. 11 hearts. Right, this is rough. I'm pulling out all the stumps. We're turning into a titan. If I just farm these mobs, maybe I got unlucky before. Yeah, two hearts. Oh yeah, this could be it. I gotta find even tougher mobs. Never mind fighting Cake Queen. That takes too long. Oh, if we stay in big boy, this is amazing. I got so unlucky. Two dropped there without anything. Oh, this is rough. It might have been like 30 minutes too late, but I have figured out that the more friends you have in the server, the more hearts you can get. Like, look, three times. I got nothing from that one. So like these friends boosts are kind of pointless. Three times again. I think it's gonna be pretty impossible for me to get less than two, like ever again. Unless I just get like zero. Look, five hearts. Oh, this is the way to go. However, there is literally two minutes left until the shop closes and I have a grand total of, yep, 439. Oh, the Oracle is gonna disappear in literally 30 seconds. I'm so sad. I hope it comes back because I'll be ready for it next time. I'll be ready. Don't go. Maybe if I stay on the screen, it'll like, oh, it has already changed. The event shop has been restocked. What have we got this time? Double X XP, $50,000, two times XP again. Okay, here's the plan. We buy the double XPs, we buy the money, and then I have to buy something else if I can. I have to just buy everything that I can every time it restocks. So we're gonna buy the flame fruit. And now I have to use this to grind. This is gonna be rough. How useful will this awakened flame fruit be for grinding? Let's find out. Maybe if I try fighting this boss, it'll give me what I need. So flaming vortex. Yep, I can smell the hearts already. Even if this fruit isn't as good as the Buddha fruit, it'll still get the job done. At least a bit. Captain Elephant, you're done. 32 Oh, this friend bonus is amazing. Even with like a really bad fruit, if I end up buying one, like I could definitely get a bunch of hearts with this. Maybe once again, we try these marine commodores. Like these might be good enough. They're a little bit below my level, but they'll definitely be like much easier to kill. The only problem is they are really spread out. Like why are these guys halfway across the map from each other? But do I get any hearts from these guys? It might be too low. Oh no, five times. And it's literally the same amount. So it doesn't matter who I fight. That's the best news I've ever heard. Oh wait, I'm so stupid. I forgot about the enemies that just gather in like one spot spot on this island. If I go over here, yep, these guys are perfect. Every single one of you guys is just fodder. You're all just hearts to me. Why is this so rough with this flame fruit? If I didn't have this awakened, this would be even harder. Four hearts from that guy. Okay, this might be the play. I just don't think this island is good enough. I think I could probably kill something a bit stronger, but this just like more grouped up. Maybe we go to the turtle island instead. That might be better for me. 
this could actually work. The skeletons, there's like so many of them. Oh, you guys are going to be great. This is perfect. I'm just got to smack them all in the skull once. There we go. Not every single bone in this area is angry at me. Where are the other ones? There they all are. Taste fire. Boom. There we go. Flaming vortex. That's right. You can't hit me if I'm just in the sky. But actually, this is still pretty slow. So I think I have an even bigger brain strategy that could actually work really well. And it involves going back to the second C. Okay. And with my personal escort over here, the ultimate taxi, I can now get easily over here without having to get rid of this fruit. Now, all that I got to do is a bit of parkour up here. And we should be exactly where we need to go. We need to come into here where this raid is. Down this little staircase I made. And if I come over here and pay 2500 That's a scam. But I'll take it anyway because I don't have enough money, huh? Well, I guess I'm paying to win. This is a necessary sacrifice. I need this to get hearts. Here we go. Except I have now changed into a cyborg. This is what I need to be able to grind faster without a good fruit. This is the ultimate grinding race. Now all that I need to do is go back to the third C and begin the grind fest. And there we go. Five times hearts. This is like the ultimate way to grind. Awaken! Oh, now they're finished. I can grind so much faster now. Look at the damage! And I can just start chaining them all together as well. This is exactly what I needed. This is the power of a cyborg! But this is actually like crazy efficient. This is amazing. Hell's core. This is about to do crazy damage. And they're just all dead. Well, this is definitely going to be the best way to grind hearts. And this race awakening is really strong. It just has one slight problem. And it's honestly kind of a big problem, actually. And that's it's about to run out. And I'm about to go back to being weak again. Which is literally the worst part about... Oh, no. There I go. Back to being a weak scrub. Now we just need to work on filling up the bar like all the way again. However, we've managed to get, as you can tell by the item slot, 99 plus to be exact. We're at 312 again. So the next time that aura comes back in, which hopefully it does before the end, I'm ready for it. And after grinding these skeletons, what seems like an endless amount of time. Wait, why are they not dropping hearts anymore? No. Has the event ended? It wasn't supposed to end this early though. Where are my hearts? Where are my hearts? There. 1250. Oh, if I capped out, if so, this is really good news. The cyborg has just been completely carrying me. And there is now less than 10 minutes until the next shop opens. So we need to go and get ready for that. And since I can only use my flame fruit, I'm going to have to fly all the way over there. And now that I'm back, it should be right in time for the next set of Valentine's shop, right? Let me just check and make sure it hasn't updated again. Yep, everything is sold out. But then again, I also do need to buy everything that appears. So I'm going to buy the love and I'm going to buy the light. And now I'm poor again. Okay, the event shop has restocked. I'm doing a bit more grinding to try and get as much as possible because I'm gonna need it. I need to see something good. Please, something that I need from the Valentine's update. Oh, that is so tragic. I have 650 hearts though, so I, can, I think I can buy all of this. I can't. I need to get more hearts for the diamond fruit, and now I have to use the smoke fruit. <laughs> this is actually a disaster. Nope, never mind. This is an actual catastrophe now. I didn't see this tweet from Rip Indra, but it says the Valentine's update actually ends after the weekend. So yeah, I really only have like four hours to do this, meaning I've only got like four chances to be able to get the four limited items. You know what? This isn't as bad as I thought, especially if we start getting some mastery on this. We'll do even more damage. For now, we'll just try and become a jet plane. Oh, yeah. This is how we're going to get hearts. This is the way. Yep, and the hearts are still the same, even if I'm using a terrible fruit. That's what you like to see. Here we go. Now's the true test. Smoke plus cyborg. <laughs> This is actually amazing. Smoke fruit, I will never diss you ever again. I mean, you're being like a hard carried by the cyborg, but still. After grinding these skeletons for an ungodly amount of time, how many do I have? 345 hearts. I think that might be enough to get the final thing that I needed to for this store, which is perfect. Yep, there it is. The diamond fruit for 300 hearts. I've never even used this fruit before and I'm not gonna start now. So I'm just gonna AFK until the next store appears. Oh, actually, no, that would be throwing because if, because if the next store has like more multiple items I need, I'd be in trouble. So I guess we're going to head back to the spooky area and continue killing the skeletons again. And the new shop has refreshed. What is even that? This is the worst one we've had yet. Ain't no way. I can't even do the challenge like I wanted to as well because I can't spend any of my hearts. I've only got 1,200 left and I've got five more attempts to try and get everything that I need. Only five. This is really rough. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I need to get so lucky with the final things that appear. Luckily, I do have enough hearts to at least get one of the things. But now we wait and hope for the best. And so I began waiting for the next shop. Since I was running out of time in the event and time to grind for hearts, I had to get something good here. And luckily in the next hour, I managed to get the Cupid's coat. Things were actually starting to look up, but I only had a few hours left until the event was completely over. Please, Bloxus, give me the two items I need at once. Come on. Oh, yes, the glasses. Perfect. Not two for one though. I think I might just have one more chance at the event before it ends. Since Bloxus themselves said the event ends in about one hour from now. This was it. My final chance to get the last thing I need, the unique hacky collar. So I started making my way towards the shop and there was nothing there. Has the event ended? Hey, no way, bro. They said there was an hour 
are left. I had failed to get everything from the shop. I checked the second sea, you know, like just in case they disappeared just from the third sea. But there was nothing there as well. And the crazy thing, if I had just managed to get a thousand hearts at the very beginning, I could have got the hacky color and completed this really not smart to do challenge.